strange how your best laid plans, even at the end of the week, can go very much south very quickly. G'day everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Saturday morning here about uh, just after 8am. And uh, clearly by now you'll realise that after yesterday's early morning promo video, nothing went up. Now, I do have a valid reason, Your Honor. Uh, the stuff I'm, I was supposed to pick up from a mate at his computer business yesterday wasn't ready. And that's fine. Well, yeah. I know I'm getting it. it. It's just that it wasn't ready. So that's all right. I'm, no problem. No problem. <clears throat> However, another piece of technology I own got itself scrambled. As you know, this is my somewhat trusty Samsung Galaxy Note 4 mobile phone that I do all my videos with. Well, the majority. You know, this and this. And yesterday it got itself bloody scrambled. For some unknown reason, it didn't record any video. I don't know why. Now, before you say, if I run out of space, no, I've got nearly 16 gig of free space on this phone. So I know it wasn't a space issue. It got itself scrambled. It said it was recording video. It wasn't recording a thing. So I backed it up, did the complete factory reset, and then had to restore everything. Tested it last night, it seems to work again. So, uh, yeah, not exactly a good day yesterday. But, whoops, you work in technology, you've got to expect it sometimes. It's, it's just that when you are trying to get things done that need to be done, you don't need something like that happening. So, uh, yeah, not a real good day yesterday. However, now that I'm somewhat sure this will work, I'm going to do yesterday's video today. And what we're going to do, basically I'm going to put up a video of how I'm going about setting up OpenBSD on Domain A to act as a DHCP DNS server for my network here at home. Now this is before I put Samba on it. This is just to get it to act as a DHCP local DNS server. I'm going to put a video up of how I'm going about it and so I can gauge some feedback from anyone who watches this and can tell me, yeah, you've buggered this up or no, your, your syntax for that function is incorrect. All right, so that's today's video. And also we've got to do a bit of a repair on that massive DVR that my friend gave me last week. I'm going to find out why one of the drives is not working. And apparently it's drive H that has fallen over. We don't know why, so we're going to have to find that out. Now, drive H, I think, is the fourth drive from the top. Because there's five drives in it, or well, there's six drives in it. Okay, so six drives. Drive zero, drive one, whatever you want to call it, drive A, is the system drive. The rest of it is all up the spout. So we're going to find out what the problem is. So we'll be trying to get to that today too. But the first video of the day after this, obviously, will be the uh, the OpenBSD video. Still quite cold here at the moment. We're in for quite a number of chilly mornings, so I don't think I'll be getting out there, well, quite yet. I might wait another half an hour or so for the ambient air temperature to warm up. Um, when I did bring the e-server up yesterday, actually, this is funny. When I did bring it up yesterday, um, the one thing I'd always loved about Sun was you could get an idea of the environmentals. And the e-server has a really good detailed show environment function um, where it can pull up all the temperatures across your boards and all the voltages um, on the boards, basically, including core voltages of the CPU, RAM voltages, the, the whole shooting match. And when I bought it up yesterday, when I got home, um, 
I've been running it for about, I don't know, half an hour or so. And everything was still at about 24, 25 degrees because the air being sucked into the server was so cold that it couldn't heat up properly. So um, I turned it off late yesterday when I thought I'd finished the video and the temperatures were only hovering around the 38, 39 degree Celsius mark. So a little bit cool. <laughs> anyway, stay tuned. I'll get the BSD video up today and we'll also look at this fault with the um, DVR. Let's see what happens. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.